everyone and welcome back to the page employment seaboard security high school game of the week live here at cameron stadium between the bangor rams and the coney rams we're going to turn it over to the pa announcer joe nelson for tonight's starting lineups for bangor and coney in your rams of bangor high school let's meet tonight's lineup first starting coney rams defense at defensive back a junior number seven shane hazard at defensive back, a senior, number nine, Matthew Rendy. Defensive lineman, a senior, number 22, Kyle St. Michael. Defensive back, a junior, number 42, Greg O'Neill. Linebacker, a senior, number 43, Captain Joe Record. At linebacker, a senior, number 44, Captain Cameron O'Brien. <laughs> Defensive lineman, a senior, number 58, Dylan Hutchison. <laughs> Defensive lineman, a senior, number 60, Mike Novak. <laughs> Defensive lineman, a senior, number 66, John Powell. <laughs> linebacker, a junior, number 68, Mike Fraser. Defensive back, a senior, number 83, Kieran Morang. The assistant coaches are Bruce Dossi, P.L. Lippert, Chris Sturgeon, Joel Dore, and Fred Searcy. Tony's head coach, Robbie Vachon. Now let's meet your starting Bangor High School Rams offense. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please rise and gentlemen kindly remove your
was the playing of the national anthem. We're going to head down to the field here in just a few moments for the captains meeting up with the officials. Adam Mahaney alongside R.J. Robertson and Howard Crow. And Howard, first of all, the Bangor Rams last year coming off an impressive season, losing in the Eastern Maine title game to Lawrence. They have a lot of veterans returning, including their four big guns, Weston, Edwards, Vanetta Stein, and Walton. How important is it for Bangor to build around that? Uh, it's very important. It's very important for them to start out with uh, some momentum and to uh, you know, build around that uh, senior leadership that they have. Uh, going to the Eastern Maine Finals last year, they obviously have some unfinished business this year, I would imagine. Coach Hackett, Coach Vashon, let's show a good display of sportsmanship in tonight's game. Let's have a real good game and have some fun, okay? Uh, any questions before we start? Okay, you're the speaking captain, Captain O'Brien, Neil Wyman, your referee. Captain uh, Edwards, referee. Uh, you introduce yourself, fellas. Shake hands. Good luck, man. Good luck. Good luck tonight, okay? Good luck, man. Good luck tonight. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, As coach. captains, you have the right to talk to the officials. If anything comes up in the course of the game you don't understand, please ask. On penalty situations, I'll give you the whole situation and then down in distance, and your choice will be fine. It's got to be made before a timeout. If it's obvious that you're going to accept or decline a penalty, I'll tell you. Okay, and you're going to be uh, speaking captain both ways. Uh, you're on offense and you're on defense. So I'll, I'll look for both of you. And again, as I said, if it's obvious, I'll tell you. Okay? As speaking captain tonight, you're going to call the toss. That's a heads. Got Medwood's heads, and it says tails on the back. What I want you to do is call it before I flip it. I'm going to let it hit the ground. What do you got? It is a tail. As you can see, it is a tail. Banger, you've won the toss. You may defer to the second half, kick, receive, or defend. You're going to receive. Captain O'Brien, which goal would you like to defend? Would you put your back to that goal? Captain Edwards, would you face? Bangor won the toss. Bangor won the toss. Fellas, let's like play hard, play clean, and we're going to score the ball game. game. going to receive here to start this game. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to have some football action. It's preseason football here. One week before the regular season, the Coney Rams and the Bangor Rams will be back after this. One and down. Boom, boom, boom. Go get them. Go get them. Welcome back to the Page Employment Seaboard Security Game of the Week. The Bangor Rams set to return with Vanetta Stein, Walton, and Billings back deep for the Rams. Set to kick off is number nine, Matthew Rainey, and he is the quarterback for Coney. It's going to be fielded by Walton at the 30, up to the 35 to the 40. He's across the 50, breaks the tackle, still going, and he's going to be brought down around the 34, and a flag flies, but a good return there for Shane Walton. Yeah, that a flag came in late, so... Uh, if there's any penalty, it's going to be near the end of the result. Nice return. There's a big gaping hole. Even I could have walked through that one. A good job there by the Bangor special team setting up some good blocks the there. And that's all coach. You can't coach. You can't coach block. You can coach block. You can't coach speed. And it was an illegal block on Bangor. So that ball is going to be moving back some here. Obviously, Coney will accept this penalty, as you heard Mr. Waterman saying before. If it's an obvious situation, he'll just go ahead and make the decision for him. Yeah, nine times out of ten, when you see a big uh, re uh, return like that, it's usually a legal block in the back. And we'll quickly go over to you, Howard, and uh, I understand you have the starting lineup for the Bangor Rams. I do. At uh, starting tight end is Ryan Weston. Left tackle, Sam Martin. Left guard, Yuri Tracy. Center, Steve Shea. Guard number 60, Tyler the right tackle is Andrew Riley, QB is Ian Edwards, and we'll get back to the rest of the starting lineup after this. Tyler McDade is the right tackle. Edwards under center here. We're going to see the first look here at the wing tee offense from the Bangor. Rams a lot in this direction. Edwards is going to drop back to pass. He's going to air it up deep, and this could be trouble as it was almost intercepted there by Greg O'Neill, the junior defensive back from Coney High School. Okay, at fullback is number 31, Calvin Ennestein. Halfback is Shane Walton. The wide receiver is Matt Kenny, and the split in is Adam Billings. And we'll touch on the Coney defense in just a moment there, but RJ, the Bangor Rams looking to start out big early off. Yeah, coming out big, uh, but that was dangerous. One receiver, three defensive backs. I don't like the odds. And Bangor now showing some offense again as the hands off to Vanenestein, and he's going to get about two yards before being brought down. 
on the play there by Coney. And we'll go over the Coney defense with you, Howard. Okay. Tackle, Kyle St. Michael. The other tackle is John Carl. Defensive end, Mike Novak. Nose guard is Dylan Hutchinson. The linebackers are Joe Record, Mike Frazier, Cameron O'Brien. The cornerbacks are Matt Rendy, Greg O'Neill, safety Shane Hazard, and Eric Moran. All right, so a strong defense here for the Coney Rams. As you see Billings in motion here, the fake handoff to Walton. Edwards is going to give another throw again. He's got a man this time. It's Matt Kenny at the 20, brought down around the 15. Gang tackle there. Shane Hazard in there on the tackle, as, as well as Matthew Rendy. So Edwards putting up the big pass there. Yeah, that was pretty much a perfect pass, right on the sideline, right where the defensive back couldn't get to. But uh, the receiver was able to get to it. That was a nice execution right there. Quarterback rolling to his right, and the uh, man was wide open. Edwards was able to get rid of the ball fairly quick. He had Dylan Hutchinson of Coney chasing him down, and he was able to get rid of the ball just in time, and uh, completes the big pass deep down the sideline. As you were mentioning, uh, this uh, wing T offense does create a lot of confusion. We have two split out wide, and Edwards is gonna option it to Venetistein along the left. He breaks one tackle, still on his feet at the five, and he's gonna be knocked down, I believe, and they're gonna say it's a touchdown. They're gonna say the forward progress put him in the end zone, so Venetistein runs one in from 18 yards out. Nice job to, to Venetistein, uh, taking a one yard loss into a touchdown. Yeah, it was, uh, it was all him on that play. I mean, it was uh, four defenders and he went right through them. And now I believe we'll see Venetistein attempt the extra point as Lonnie Hackett will maybe be the holder here. I was trying to see who was holding the ball earlier for him. It's not, it's gonna be Matt Kenny is gonna hold the ball and Vanessa Stein will attempt the PAT here. Six nothing Bangor with 10.47 to go in the first quarter so it doesn't take the Rams long to put some points on the board. Now it's up to Vanessa Stein with the extra point. The kick is up and it is good and it's seven nothing Bangor. We're gonna take a break when we come back, Coney. We'll be set to receive. You're watching the Page Employment Seaboard Security Game of the Week. Welcome back to Cameron Stadium. The Bangor Rams on top of Coney, seven nothing here in the first quarter. Venetistein set to kick off for the Rams. And the kick is gonna be a, a decent one. It's gonna take a bounce at the 20 before being fielded cleanly by Greg O'Neill. And O'Neill is gonna get up to about the 32 before being pushed out of bounds by a few Ram defenders there. So the Coney Rams coming on offense here, and RJ, the Rams last year winless, so this is gonna be a big opportunity here for their offense to showcase what they have this year. A new quarterback, they lose Gabe Hines last year, who's their senior. He's off to play at the University of Maine, so a new quarterback is gonna to have to show some leadership. Yeah, new quarterback and new coach. Let's see what uh, Coach Sean has in store for the Rams tonight. And Coney will come to the line, and their new quarterback, Matthew Rendy, as a power eye formation in the backfield with Cameron O'Brien. And it looks like Joe Record, the handoff's gonna be to O'Brien. O'Brien's gonna try to muscle his way up a little bit here. Tough to do against this Rams defense, who's very big and strong here. And Tyler McDade on the tackle. Quick look here at the Bangor defensive line. You're gonna see a bunch of different players in there today. We're gonna bear with us here and try to get to them all. Jacob, Jacob Thompson in there. At, looks like he is a uh, defensive tackle. We know McDade's in there. And Rendy back under center for Coney. He's gonna hand it off the record and record's gonna be dropped. Maybe a gain of one on the play, but not getting too much is in there on the tackle again. Tyler McDade also in there on the tackle was Steven Schley, number 78. Yeah, this uh, Coney offensive line isn't doing much to push the defensive line of Bangor back. Bangor's having the way of them these first two plays. Also in there on that tackle was number 45, Steven Sacariccia. As you remember last year, his older brother was here, Robert Sacariccia, and he was a house. and. His little brother's a little bit smaller than his older brother, but needless to say, they uh, they both fare good size. And while we have a quick timeout here, Howard, why don't you touch pace on the Coney offense? I sure will. Starting tight end is Eric Morang. The tackles are Matt Baldick, Taylor Booten. The guards are John Carl, Mark McDonald, 
Center is Mark Frazier. Quarterback is Matt Rendy. Wide receiver is Greg O'Neill. The other wide receiver is Andrew Poulin. The halfback is Joe Record. And the tailback is Cameron O'Brien. So Coney, they have a lot of senior, a lot of leadership on this team. They only lost four seniors from last year. So they didn't really lose a lot of players. A new head coach with different philosophies. So maybe this team is gonna is gonna turn it around here. A lot of pressure putting on a, a new quarterback that is a senior. He started a few games last year when Gabe Hines got hurt. So Rendy does have some action under center. So we're gonna see the senior leadership here as Coney has taken their first time out. Facing a third and four from the 37, 9.29 to go here in the first quarter between the Rams of Coney and the Rams of Bangor. Rendy drops back some good nice line screen. breakage there. Good screen pass there, and Record's go. gonna gain some yardage. He's up to the 40, he's got a blocker. Needs one block. Up to the 25, the, 20, the 10, all the way down to the five before being driven out of bounds by Shane Walton. Walton, the corner, the safety or rather, making a great hustling tackle there, but a great screen pass by Rendy to record. Yeah, that, that play almost didn't happen. It was a low throw, he had to scoop it off the ground and it definitely made some positive yards out of it. Yeah, it was 58 yards unofficially anyways. And the offensive line did their job for Coney. They let that offense, the defensive line come through on that rush and when that happens, you're in, you're in some rough shape because you just lost four defenders on that play. And the whole offensive line was doing a great job there. Great job by Eric Morang, the number 83 for Coney, running down that play at the same time through that big block in there, which is able to spring record for some more yards. So we're looking first and goal from the six for Coney as they try to put some points back up on the board here. Trailing early, 7-0 in the first quarter. Rendy's gonna hand it off to O'Brien, and O'Brien's gonna pick up maybe one or two on the play. Chris Debro in there on the tackle. Gonna see a lot of players coming into this game, a lot of first stringers, a lot of second stringers. They're gonna see a mixture of everybody. This is their final tune-up game before the regular season will kick off next week. We'll be here. Mesolonski and Bangor. A good game expected there as Meslonski always brings a good football team to town. And Rendy, looking here at second and three from the three. And we're gonna have a whistle. Most likely a false start. And now let's see if we can pick it up here. Get ball, play of game, game. 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 Previous spot, keep shutting down. Yeah. We have a delay of game there. On Coney. Randy let the play clock get down, and that's what happened. He's five yards. So now second and eight for Coney. Coney running in a power eye offense here with two wideouts. Randy's going to drop back the pass, throwing across the middle. The pass is going to be broken up. Great defensive play there by Adam Billings. Very nice play, but I like the way they tried to mix it up, throwing it across the middle on a slant. Adam, Sorry about that. Adam Billings and uh, Captain Ian Edwards both there. Uh, Billings able to get the hand out of it. Edwards was a little, I can hear the footsteps as the receiver. It'll be interesting to see what you call here, third and eight from the eight. You think they have to pass, but we'll see if play conservative and maybe just go for the field goal. We wouldn't expect to see a, a screen here this close. You wouldn't want to take the chance to knock yourself out of field goal range. So we'll see what's going to happen here. They're going deep in the corner. We'll and that pass is going to be incomplete. Great defensive coverage there by Shane Walton as he kind of made the defense, the offensive player kind of head towards out of bounds where he wasn't going to have a, a play on that. Yeah, he had him uh, shadowed out of the end zone. There was no way he was going to catch it in bounds. That's going to bring up fourth and eight from the Bangor eight. Let's see if Coney goes for it or they uh, attempt the field goal. Looks like they're going to attempt the field goal. Cameron O'Brien will do the kicking for Coney. And we'll see what type of leg he has. About a 25 yard field goal, I believe. Kicks up, it's a line drive, and it's going to be no good. Wide left, and the Rams offense will come back on the field. So we're going to take a break when we come back. Ian Edwards will start leading the charge again for the Bangor Rams. 
Welcome back to the Page Employment Seaboard Security Game of the Week. The Bangor Rams on the field now. Looking to march down the field, already up 7-0. The Billings in motion for Bangor. The handoff is going to be to Vanenestein. Vanenestein muscling his way forward before being hit and dropped by Shane Hazard of Coney. A little, little cliche, but definitely a hazard on that hole. <laughs> so Coney... The defense trying to contain this Bangor offense, this wing T offense. Very interesting to see here that Bangor's running. It's a brand new offense for him. A lot of misdirection, a lot of confusion here. As you see, Walton was in motion that time. Hand off to Walton along the 30, the 35, the 40. Up to the 45, brought down at the 49. A great run there by Shane Walton along the right side. Walton was the big guy last year that running back for Bangor as he took over for Alex Gallant who ended up moving out to a wide receiver position. So Gallant has, uh, Walton excuse me, has a full year behind him at running back, rushing for over a thousand yards last year. And looks like he's in great form already. And you can't put a price tag on experience because uh, Bangor produces players every year and it shows, shows with this team out here right now. Edwards hands off to Vanenestein. Coney gets through, but Vanenestein, great. Great running skills there. He's up to the 35, the 30, 25, brought down at the 20. Good tackle there by number 58, Tony Dylan Hutchinson. But Bangor, that ground game is really working for him. The combination again this year of Vanessa Stein and Walton, tough to stop. Yeah, one mistake there by the defensive uh, team, by the linebacker, Mike Frazier. He went for the strip of the ball. He got in there. He almost took the handoff from the quarterback, but he went for the strip, and Vanetta Stein was able to get it by him. Kind of reminds me of the old New York Giants when they had thunder and lightning. You have Shane Walton, who has the speed on the outside. There's your lightning. And then Kyle Vanetta Stein is an animal up there at fullback, and he's pretty much the thunder. He'll bring the hit to you. And the pitch this time to Billings. Billings, he breaks a tackle at the 20. Brought down at the 19. In there on the tackle again is Dylan Hutchinson. Also in there, Mike Novak for Coney. Ian Edwards, senior quarterback for Bangor, in here again for uh, another year under the helm at, at center there. Edwards, that, you can't really coach that much experience, and he has quite a bit of experience at center, so that's something Bangor really has got a key on. Interesting, uh, but midway through the first quarter, and uh, Talented tight end Ryan Weston. You have to see a play. A pass. He's in there. You have to see a pass. And off to Vanenestein this time in there. Three players in there on that tackle. John Carl from Cody. Also in there was Dylan Hutchinson again. Seem to be calling Dylan Hutchinson's name quite a bit here. Busy young man tonight. Third down and around 10. We're gonna have third and 10. So Bangor losing a yard on that play. And they're gonna line up in this power eye formation and it's gonna be Walton that's gonna be in motion again this time. Matt Kenny on the far side, the fake handoff and now Edwards has got a scramble and in there again for a tackle and a sack. Will you believe it? It would be Dylan Hutchinson once again. Wow. Quite a motor for uh, first quarter tackle of the game. Dylan Hutchinson. Possibly put him out of field goal range with that. And that will bring up fourth Ball down and 12, two. a two yard loss there. Makes it fourth and 12. And now uh, let's see what's gonna happen. And Vanetta Stein's gonna go for it. They're gonna try to Amazing. kick the field goal Thank here. <laughs> this is a Looks long yeah. one. 31 yard, 30, a little over 30 yard field goal attempt. Kick it from the 29. At 10 yards. Yeah. yeah. And that kick's gonna be high. It's high enough, but not deep enough, so Coney will uh, take over the ball here at their own 21 with 4.52 to go, excuse me, 4.57 to go. We're gonna take a break. Coney, getting ready to come on offense. You're watching the Page Employment Seaboard Security Game of the Week. Welcome back to the Page Employment Seaboard Security Game of the Week. Coney and Bangor, and the handoff is to record, record, 
Breaking a tackle to the 35, the 40. Breaks another one, the 40, the 35, excuse me, the 40. And brought down at the 45. First game of the year, I'm trying to get used to all my yardage again. And it looks like we have a flag on the play here. And, uh, illegal block in the back on Coney. Great piece of running there by uh, Joe Record, but uh, unfortunately it's called back on a penalty. And I believe on this type of penalty, it's from where the ball, where the spot of the foul was, where the, the penalty start is from where the spot of the foul occurred. So. Illegal block in the back, above the waist on the offense. 10 yard penalty for the spot of the foul. So it still resulted in a first down, so. Let's see what's gonna happen now for Coney. They got it up to the 34. They would have had a bigger yardage if uh, they didn't have that one penalty there. Nice night for football. Clear skies. No snow falling yet. And Rendy's going to hand it off the record. And record's going to be tackled by a few Rams there on that play. Tyler McDade in there as well as Steven Sacariccia. And that's going to bring up second down and 12. So a two-yard loss there for Coney. So Coney's offense now. Gonna have to figure out what they can do here as Bangor's defense has picked it up a little bit here. Tyler McDade getting some good penetration on that offensive line. He's getting in the backfield, which is what he needs to do. So it'll be interesting to see what Coney can do for adjustments to stop this defensive line at Bangor. A low snap, Randy handles it good though. Looking for a pass, he's throwing it deep. This could be trouble as Edwards is gonna pick it off. And he looked like he was trying to lateral that ball. Uh, before he was brought down by Greg O'Neill. So Edwards with the interception, the quarterback stepping up big here. Bangor offense coming on the field. We'll keep it right here as pretty much all of Bangor's offense was out there on defense. Yeah, we'll see if that uh, factors in as they were just out there on defense. As you said, Edwards, the interception, he's got to go under center. He didn't have to do much. He kind of caught it and was tackled right away. So shouldn't be too tired, but... Be interesting to see what happens here with Bangor. Do they do they try to uh, go deep again? The last time they went deep, they were able to have a good completion to Matt Kenny, and that was pretty much the only throw they've really thrown here. Edwards hands it off to Vanetta Stein. Vanetta Stein up to the 35, 45, excuse me, and brought down at the 43. So a good run there by Kyle Vanetta Stein. It'll be a Bangor first down in Coney territory. First and 10, their own 43. First and 10 for Bangor. There you go, v. There you go, v. As Coney made the trip up here from Augusta, they even brought the Ram with them. As you can see the Ram all the way across the field. Yeah, there he is. Hand off this time to Vanetta Stein, and it seems like this year, going from this game, Vanetta Stein's gonna be the man to carry the ball this year. Well, unofficially right now, Vanetta Stein, according to my calculations, has uh, five carries for 58 yards. And of course, he's got the one touchdown, uh, touchdown run for 18 yards, so. That's a pretty good average right there. Absolutely. So Vanetta Stein carrying the ball quite a bit here early on for the Rams. 2.50 to go in the first quarter. It's 7-0 Bangor over Coney. Walton in motion again. And now Billings goes in motion. This looks like this could have been an option here, but Edwards is going to keep it himself, and he's going to be wrestled down on the play by Cameron O'Brien. So Edwards going to be close to a first down here. Yeah, that definitely was an option, but he optioned not to kick it back. You could see Billings running alongside him there. It looked like it was going to end up developing into the option, but Edwards saw the opening, decided to keep it himself and run with it. So third and one from the 34. And if I had to bet the house on it, I'm thinking they might give it to Vanenstein here up the middle. I think I'd take that bet as well. As you see, Walton... Going in motion, now Billings in motion as well. There's the handoff to Vanetta Stein. Vanetta Stein breaks the tackle. Couldn't get away from that last one, and there's some flags on the play. There's a flag. He 
And it looked like that might have been a, uh, is it now they're calling it a collar tackle? Yeah, it was, it was up in the head area, face mask or a collar tackle. Let's see what they call. And let's go down to Mr. Waterman and see what he's gonna give us for a call here. Looks like he's talking it over with Bangor, seeing if they want to accept it. You think they would. It's going to push them towards their end zone a little bit more. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense half the distance to the goal. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was a face mask. As Mr. Waterman gives us the uh, heads up there, and now Bangor half the distance to the goal line. So first and ten from the twelve. So. They can still get one more first down before uh, having to decide what they want to do. Edwards is doing a good job on the quarterback, scanning that Coney defense. He's going to hand it off to Walton. Walton breaks a tackle. The five, he is going to dive for it, and he's in for a touchdown. So Shane Walton from 12 yards out puts it in for Bangor, and it's 13-0 Bangor. Great one there by Walton. His uh, offensive line did a great job. Uh, as you said, Veneta Stein has been getting low to the work. They went to Walt Walton for another choice and then kind of threw the Coney def defense off a little bit. They're eyeing on Veneta Stein and Walton ran right down the middle. And Veneta Stein will kick now for Bangor. So try to add on that extra point here to put it up 14 nothing. The kick is up. And the kick is good. So Bangor with 134 to go has just added another touchdown. It's 14 to nothing. We'll be back after this. You're watching the Page Employment Seaboard Security Game of the Week. The buckle's in, but I think it got loose over here. Somewhere these shoulder pads suck in the first place. Good job, man. Thanks, Thanks job. Too. Not too much. Welcome back to the Page Employment Seaboard Security Game of the Week. The Bangor Rams up 14 to nothing over the Rams of Coney. And Vanetta Sign set to kick off here with O'Brien and Wrecker back deep to return it. It's gonna be O'Neill this time, excuse me, from the 25 up to the 30, and he's gonna be hit and dropped down. Good open field tackle there by number 65. Renaud Collard Seguin on the uh, roster they gave us. They have him listed as number 23. So Renaud Collard Seguin is really number 65. So maybe forget his jersey at home. I've done that a time or two. So here we go, Coney. 128 to go here in the first quarter. I'm sure that Robbie Vashon, head coach of Coney, would like to put something on the board here in the first quarter. As Rendy will scan the defense. Good hard, hard count there. Bang, we're almost jumping. The handoff to O'Brien. O'Brien fumbling, and it's going to be recovered. Carry by Cameron yeah, O'Brien. Do they Bangor. give it to Bangor? They're going to. Yes, they, they are. It was fumbled. So Bangor recovering recovered the fumble. Couldn't tell if they were going to give him the fumble or not. And they do. So. At this point, look for something uh, quick by Edwards. Uh, try to get the offense back off the field because they were just on for that long time. See if we can get a quick hitter, maybe do uh, Kenny on the outside or maybe Weston down in the middle. Be interesting to see what they do. They've been putting it on the ground pretty much this whole entire game here. Combination of Vanessa Stein and Walton. They each have a touchdown, so it'll be interesting to see what happens as Billings is in motion. And Edwards is going to pass. Good call by Arja here. And it's going to be to Weston. Weston, a great catch, and he comes down with it before being tackled by Rendy. And our offensive coordinator up here, RJ, called that play right out. Absolutely, beautiful call. Well, it was the first time for everything, I guess. Nice executed play by the tight end. So great hands shown there by Ryan Weston. It was 11 minutes till he got his hands on the ball, and he definitely made a big play out of it because Edwards was able to find him. Under a minute now, Ryan Weston. Seventh year of playing football. Showing his great hands there. The handoff is to Walton. Walton up to the five. So a good carry there by Shane Walton. As you said, his seventh year, but I believe this is only his second year on the uh, Bangor Ram high school team. As, or possibly his third, this is his third year. 
he did go to Bangor Christian High School what, down on Broadway for his freshman year. I was assistant coach of Sierra Sport. We played against them for basketball. And he was definitely a house in there. Hard guy to get out of the way. And Bangor looking here with 30 seconds to go. I'm sure they would probably like to put up another touchdown here. A good pitch there to Walton. Walton up to the 10. If you, you may recognize a lot of these Bangor players as a lot of them were a part of that uh, state championship baseball team in 2006 and did a very good job representing Bangor in the American Legion uh, tournament. Edwards was there. Uh, Shane Walton as well, excluding, uh, I believe, Vanetta Stein Vanetta might have been there. Yeah, he was there. Um, so they have a, this team is very talented in, in many sports. A lot of success in 2007 as well, as you said. Uh, they won the state basketball championship. They were the runners-up in the state, won Eastern Maine in baseball, and runners-up in Legion. So after one quarter of play, it's Bangor 14, Coney nothing. We're going to take a break. When we come back, it's the start of the second quarter. You're watching the Page Employment Seaboard Security Game of the Week. Welcome back to the Page Employment Seaboard Security Game of the Week. The Bangor Rams and the Coney Rams. It's 14-0 Bangor. And Edwards hands it off to Billings. That was quite a bit of misdirection there. Billings close to the end zone down around the one or two. That was a, I couldn't even describe that play. I even got confused. I thought they handed it off to Vanetta Stein. Then I thought it was Walton. And it ended up being Billings coming out of nowhere to get the handoff. Just imagine how the Coney defense felt. <laughs> and now we have a whistle and a flag. And Good ball. Ball start. So we have a false starts there on Bangor. Adam Billings, the jet man you just saw carrying the ball, nicknamed Superman. Yeah. He's looking to go to college. Favorite athlete, Reggie Bush and Barry Sanders. And not too often you see someone's favorite football team be the New Orleans Saints. Unless you're from New Orleans or Louisiana, which we're quite a ways away from. Nice geography. <laughs> Thank you. Hand off to Vanetta Stein, and he just trucks his way close to the end. And he's in the end zone, so a touchdown. So Vanetta Stein puts it in from six yards out, and now he's going to be on to attempt the extra point. So Vanetta Stein, quite the animal out there. He's another one, favorite athlete, Reggie Bush. Don't really want to say it, but he is, he, he doesn't have the same. Uh, game form as Reggie Bush. Absolutely Reggie Bush not. is more of a uh, finesse player and Vanetta Stein is a little bit more of a run you over type player. As the kick is up and it is good. 21 to nothing in favor of Bangor. We're going to take a break when we come back. Coney will be set to receive. You're watching the Page Employment Seaboard Security Game of the Week. Welcome back to the Page Employment Seaboard Security Game of the Week. As you see, the kick from Vanetta Stein, fielded by O'Brien. Oh, oh, yeah, O'Brien. Jeez, starting with my words here. O'Neill. O'Neill. I thought it was O'Brien. And he's going to be brought down at the 37 yard line. So quickly on Kyle Vanetta Stein. A lot of family members playing for this rich Bangor football tradition. Uh, his father, Tommy Vanetta Stein, his uncle, Joe Vanetta Stein, and his brother, TJ Vanetta Stein. And now he's continuing the Vanetta Stein family tree into the Bangor football. So Coney coming back on offense here. Rendy still under center here. It'll be interesting to see how long the starters stay in the game for both teams. But this is the final tune-up game me, for the regular season. You may see them in for a little bit. The pitch is off to record. And record's going to be brought down. Good tackle there by number 78 of Bangor. That's Steve Schley. Steve Schley. Excuse me. Yeah, Bangor coach Hackett did say that he's going to play this game like a regular game. Nothing special. He's just going to do like a regular season game. So look for uh, most of his number ones to be in the majority of the time. Steve Schley, nickname Schley. Other activities, activities. he's uh, in musicals, he's in the National Honor Society, and a member of the Boy Scouts. He's an Eagle Scout and a black belt in Taekwondo. Wow, a little well rounded kid. A little Renaissance man. Large fry, please. That's kind of interesting to have someone like that. Uh, he plans to go to college to study film. Favorite athlete, Tom Brady. 
And uh, Tony's going to take a timeout. Yeah, we'll keep it right here. See what Bangor is going to do defensively. Bangor still running with the same defense that they normally do. Coney looking to do something different here on offense. Maybe I wouldn't be surprised to see them try to throw the ball a little bit here. Kind of have to at this point. I'm down 21 nothing. They need to. They need to get something happening here. They've had two decent drives where a, a penalty has cost them some type of uh, you know scoring opportunity. So um, I think the potential's there, but uh, uh, Bangor definitely is is a class act like they've always been year in and year out. So Coney's got their hands full, no doubt about it. The Bangor defense, though, has always been strong. Ian Edwards, Kyle Vanenstein, Walton, Billings. Great defensive players. They did lose some defensive players, as some of you guys can, might remember Ben Bambrick from last year. Most memorable moment from Ben Bambrick la last year was uh, a player running along the sidelines, and Ben Bambrick hit him so hard in the preseason game he dropped. Player got up, took two steps, and then just fell again as Bambrick was able to deliver quite the hit. But by losing him, you're going to look for someone else to step up big on defense. It looks like Mark Hackett has really found that with Bangor this year. Pass over to Record, and Record's going to be hit and dropped by a few Bangor defenders. Looks like Record is a little surprised to get that pass. A bunch of them in there on the tackle. Sam Martin in there.